Hi guys, it's Hoops the Bee back with another Bee Swarm Simulator video. And today, guys, we're going to talk about hives and upgrades. Yeah, that's right. You probably noticed in my videos of recent times, I've been talking a lot about getting your hive to 35 bees. And well, I like Chocolate 4, well, has done that. How cool is that, guys? 35 bees. And look how many legendaries uh, this person has in their hive, guys. That is a lot of legendaries. But there's a problem. Yeah. It's only a level 7 and 8 hive. Yeah, that's bad. Because, well, you want to go ahead and be able to beat the tunnel bear on a regular basis. So let's quickly hop into here and have a quick look. Oh, we don't even need to do the tunnel bear. Now, the tunnel bear needs a level 9 bees, but you can get away with level 8 bees, so that's not too bad. I bet I Like Chocolate is beating the tunnel bear on a regular basis, so that is pretty cool. But the reason why you want to get 35 bees is you want to get into this field at the top here. And it's the coconut field. Yes, guys, uh, it is totally OP and you get some amazing rewards, guys. You literally get like hundreds of things. And uh, the only problem is it's a, a level 12 mob. Yeah, level 12 and you have a level 8 and 9 and even 7 bees. It's not enough, guys. It's not enough. So here's what you need to do. You need to focus your energy on, well, a couple of these OP bees. Yes, so the ones that have the most power. So I'm looking at the lion bees here. Uh, demon bees also have quite a bit of attack power. So let's have a quick look at that. So there's a lot of demon bees in this hive and they have an attack of 6, guys. So yeah, they are super OP and they're red but this particular bee loves pineapples so go ahead and feed the pineapples to the demon bees and get double the bond when you're leveling up but there is another way to upgrade your hive really quickly and well you're gonna need yourself a few tickets because what you want to do is get the puppy bee guys the puppy bee it's a cute, playful bee, guys, and, well, its attack is not great, but it does have this fetch ability, which enables you to increase pollen by 100% uh, if you keep on kicking the ball around. Now, that is pretty cool, but the power of this puppy bee is in the gifted hive bonus of 20% bond from treats. Yes, that is the key, guys. That is the key. So, when you get to 35 bees, you turn your attention not to buying more tools and masks, but to leveling up your hive so you have a couple of level 12 bees and then you can take on the coconut crab so my suggestion is to get yourself a puppy bee as soon as you can and uh, here it is right here guys it's very cute uh, let's have a quick look and see what the price is it is 500 tickets so you're going to need yourself 500 tickets to get yourself a puppy bee and then you're going to need another thousand tickets to get yourself a star treat now star treats well they are easy to come by in some of the quests guys so just keep on doing your quests and you'll get some special star treats as rewards but once you have your puppy bee and a star treat make him gifted and then you can start building your hive yes this is what the pros do guys they literally farm honey and they come over to here and they just buy treats guys they literally buy treats now i can't afford that i can afford oh i can't even afford that Oh, that's horrible. Uh, I can buy 100,000 treats, guys. 100,000 treats for 1 billion honey. So that's what they do, is they go and apply that onto the hive, and then all of a sudden, you have a big bonus, because you have a 20% bonus on treats. And that's what all the pros do, guys. That's what all the pros do. They get themselves a puppy bee, and well, yeah. They spend the time, they make it gifted, and 20% of every treat is going to increase the bond. So that's the next thing you want to do with a 35B hive, guys. 35 bees is great, but now you need to level up just a few of these bees. So even the ninja bees would be pretty OP if you level them up to a, a level 11 or a level 12. In fact, you probably need a couple of level 12s. Then you can go up to the coconut crab and you can grind away, guys guys and get some amazing treats and bonuses out of that field and plus you're going to need to do the coconut field a few times for some of the quests so there is that too so there is a bit of a bonus of getting rid of this coconut crab now let's go over to the coconut crab here guys here's one now now the hot tip is just to be in the corners and just a run from side to side now when you only have 35 bees and they are very low level this is going to take some time but 
if you are smart and you can persist, well, you will do it. I think it took me over 30 minutes the first time I bet the coconut crab. But trust me, guys, the rewards are totally worth it. Now, just watch out for this red stuff. The crab isn't going to get you, but you just want to stay along this line here. Don't go wandering into the field because that's not going to help. And we'll just go across here. And yeah, I got hit by the coconut crab then, so I wasn't concentrating, guys. But I do have the coconut canister, so it does have a protection on it, which actually does help a lot and you literally only need four or five level 12 bees guys and this coconut crab will be so much easier to defeat so yes you just say on this level don't go wandering inside the field because that's going to take too long and literally just come here and and then head over to the other side and when those coconuts are falling just avoid the red circles again staying in the corners well usually it doesn't put a coconut in the same place twice so once you've avoided one you don't have to panic and stress out you literally just run from side to side and of course well the treats are totally worth it guys treats are totally worth the effort and you'll clear the field and the coconut field is pretty good to grind as well so that is a big plus but anyway guys we're almost done now I've got a lot of bees so obviously well it's a lot easier for me and I haven't been picking up my rage tokens they really help too guys and that is about it guys the crab is about to fall so yeah it does take a little bit of time but you guys totally have this and and look at all of these treats guys neon berries and star jellies and dice and oh, all sorts of fun stuff guys wow look at my converters I got a stack of them already and the link tokens will pick them all up so if you have a few bees with link tokens well that's the easiest way to pick these things up guys but look at that a star jelly on the field so there's lots of cool stuff and reasons to be able to beat this coconut crab guys you totally want to be focusing on that next but trust me guys once you get rid of that crab once pick up a star jelly a bunch of tropical drinks coconuts you can donate them to the shrine and then you get more stuff you have field boosts and things just get so much easier guys so this is what i would do right now if you've got the porcelain dipper that's probably enough you're going to be working your way to the petal wand and yeah that is a very pretty guys that is a very pretty wand uh but uh yes that's what you want to do 35 bees at this point i would stop doing hive upgrades and just get a few of your bees to level 12 as quickly as you can now don't have a balanced hive all level eights is not going to help no you want just at least a few so you can beat the coconut crab so that's my best tip for people with 35 bee hives guys stop adding hive slots now and start grinding up some of these bees and get them to a reasonable level so you can beat all of the mobs and trust me when you upgrade your hive as well that stump snail is going to go down really quickly anyway guys that's all i've got time for today please like and subscribe and until next time it's bye for now